Hey there, and welcome to the problem of the day for June 1st. It's going to be shortest path in a binary matrix. It's a pretty straightforward problem once you figure out the algorithm. So you're basically given an n by n grid, and you have to find the shortest path in the matrix. And you can go left, right, up, down, or diagonally, and the path needs to be from zeros to zeros. So as you can see from this first example, the only path would be here. And then in this other example, there's only one path again. And then this other example, when, when your initial starting square is a 1, you can never have a path from 0 because you're starting at this top left and you have to get to the bottom right. So that's one thing, again, that you can check for is when you have the starting square of uh, negative 1 or 1, you wouldn't have a solution. And so for breadth first search, typically you can do one of two things. You can either use a heap or you can use a queue. And in our case, we're going to use a heap. It's going to be a pretty straightforward algorithm here. So let's just take a look at this example. And it's going to be like this. So let's just look at this. And what we're going to do in the heap is we're actually going to have, and let's just also index these. So we're going to index these, and we are going to go from the start and go to the end. So we're going to start here. And the way we're going to store things in our heap is we're going to have a path length, a row, and a column. And then that way they're going to be sorted by the shortest path. So initially we're going to have our heap, right? And we're going to put in, we're going to put in the first value. And so they did say that if a path goes from like here to here, it would be two. And so the first, starting from the first, it would be path length one, so zero, zero. Then we simply pop until we have nothing left or until we reach this location. So we're going to pop this. And then the only place we can go is over here, right? And so that distance is going to be 2, or 0, column 1. OK, we're going to pop that now. And we are also going to have a visited set to make sure we don't revisit the same place twice. We technically don't have to do it, but it will make it a little bit faster. OK, so we pop that. It's neighbors over here, path length 3 now. And then that's going to be 0, 2. And so there's actually only one way to go in this, but you can kind of see that you're, we're just going to be popping a node. We're going to check all its neighbors, and we're going to keep putting them in the heap. And that way, our heap is going to be sorted by the shortest path. So whichever path gets us here faster is going to be guaranteed the shortest path. And if we pop everything from the heap and we never got here, then we don't have a valid solution. We got stuck somewhere. So it's going to be a pretty straightforward algorithm. Let's code that up. So we're going to need a couple things. We're going to need a visited set to not double to not go to the same place twice. We're also going to need a directions array, which I like having. So let's just do that. And then for this, we're actually going to need up, down, left, right, and diagonal. So it's going to be a lot. So it's going to be negative 1, 0, and then 0, 1, and then, uh, let's see, 0, negative 1, right? And then we're going to need every single diagonal as well. So what are the possible diagonals? Well, it's going to be 1, 1, negative 1, 1, negative 1, uh, sorry, 1, negative 1, and negative 1, negative 1. OK, so th these are all the possible directions we can go. Now we also need the heap. Let's actually make sure this is... OK, so we're going to need the heap there. Now we need to do a while heap, right? Or actually, no, so first we need to actually put in this original index into our heap. And so what we also need to do, we can check in the original. So if grid, because that's going to be the same, that's going to be for the third example, right? If this is neg if this is one, then we're going to just return false here because we can't have a valid solution. So there we go. So now we put that in. We're going to start with path one. And then it's going to be 0, 0. Path length 1, row, row 0, column 0. We need to also add that into the visited set. We can do that here, 0, 0. OK, so now we're good to go. In, and we can just code up our heap. So while heap. So remember, we need to push from the heap. So it's going to be path, row, column equals heap pop heap. Now we can check if our row and our column is our output. Right? Oh, we need one more thing. Do we need to do that? Oh, yeah, we do. So we also need a rows just to have an out-of-bounds check. 
Okay, so if row column equals this, that means we were actually at our output. So then we can just return path here. Otherwise, otherwise we just go through our directions and we check all the neighbors and we see if they weren't visited. So we could do that here. So we're going to check that here. And the way we're going to do that is we're going to make a new row and a new column. So we're going to make a new row and a new column. So we're going to make a new row and a new column, and we're going to use this directions array to get those values. So that's going to be pretty straightforward. Uh, it's actually going to be 0 is going to be the row, and then column is going to be uh, okay. Now we need to check if they're valid. Let's actually do end call. Let's do end call here as well, just to save some space. So there we go. So now we need to check if our new direction is valid, meaning is it in bounds and is it a zero and is it not invisited? So we have to check all those. So if zero is greater equal to n row, it's less than rows, and same thing for column. Calls less than rows. Remember, rows are equals columns in this case because they are. It's a square matrix. And uh, and row and call not invisited. And then we have one last check where to make sure that it's a zero because we have to traverse through only zeros. So grid and row and call. Then we have a valid solution, so or we have a valid new uh, place to add to our heap. So visited dot add actually. Then this would be and row and call. Okay, so we add it into our visited. We need to add it to the heap by doing a heap push. So remember, we're going to be doing path plus one because it's a neighbor. So we need to add and then and row and call. And then I believe we just need to return one, negative one if we don't have a valid, if we go through our whole heap and we don't have anything valid. So let's try that, let's see if we missed anything. Okay, it says direction. All right, case three, false, expected negative one. Okay, so this needs to be negative one instead of false. All right, so it got accepted. And so let's think about the time and space complexity for this. So time is going to be, so we're going to be going through our entire grid, but we're only going to be going through our grid once because we have this visited. So worst case scenario, we check every single box, which would be unsquared if n is the row. So yeah, and it's n by n matrix, so it'd be unsquared. Space, so technically it can be n squared worst case. You can store every neighbor. Like let's say this whole grid was zeros, but I believe if this whole grid was zeros, it's going to, it's going to be a little less than n squared because we are popping, um, you know, we are popping like a little bit. And so I don't think it can ever be n squared, but worst case it's going to be n squared. So, but I think as the grid gets bigger, it's probably going to be less than n squared. How much less? I'm not entirely sure, but yeah. So worst case it is n squared for sure. Okay. So that's all for this problem, and if you like this video, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.